So we've had a major fire here, summer of 2016. It caused extensive damage to um, mainly the bedrooms that were let out by the owners. But we have a very, very fine grade two star listed Gothic manor house here. Uh, we've got historic paintwork throughout the interiors. Uh, unfortunately, the fire, the smoke, although it didn't directly damage, uh, it tracked right through the building as, as caused a, a huge black deposit over all the wall painting and ceiling painting. Uh, and this is Crace Brothers who worked with uh, Pugin at the Palace of Westminster and this is one of the finest man mansions in the country surviving by Crace Brothers. There was a very bad fire um, which has toasted a lot of the interior decoration. Obviously it destroyed major sections of the building. Our job is to restore the wood finishes and um, some of the carving and some of the joinery repairs on the historic work, which range everything from the sort of ceiling in the hall, which was completely charred and toasted. We've replaced sections of that and sort of refinished that to match the new sections to old, um, to work like this, where the, um, there was water damage to the shutters and the finishes in here. Most of the finishes are varnishes on oak, but in some places there's very high quality wood graining, so it's actually painted wood effect um, on soft wood. And these shutters behind me are um, an example of the wood graining. So we're having to match the Victorian wood graining as closely as possible, and they were trying to match the oak in the rest of the building. It's fairly demanding because it's actually next to real oak, a lot of the graining so um, it really has got to look quite convincing. So we've had to bring in a team of specialists. Uh, we've got historic paint specialists, uh, analysis being done uh, to work out various sequences of the historic work. It was actually done in f three sequences we we've worked out. So we're having to restore each one. There's gilded paint, there's gold leaf work throughout, handmade block printed wallpapers in the drawing room, which are being made at the moment. Uh, there are, incidentally, these match the ones we used at the, that we used at the Palace of Westminster, so that you can get an idea of the very, very high quality of this building. Um, so that, that's all going well, um, proceedings are planned. We've also got a whole load of other specialists we brought in. Uh, we've got uh, Gothic doors, which are French polished, so we've got French polish experts. We've got stone cleaning experts because we've got a, this black deposit that's streaked down all of our Gothic stonework inside the building. Um, and then, you know, outside the building, another challenge, the whole building got soaked with water. There were 60,000 litres of water to put the fire out. That's drenched down into the ground, soaked up into the stone, uh, and it's coming out in the walls all over the, the walls. So it's been a, a really involved, extensive operation, not just the fire, it's the water uh, and the quality of the building. It's cr created quite a lot of challenges. We were introduced to uh, Austin Newport by the NFU who had used them before, and that was on, only on the second day after the fire, and uh, met with Gary Newport subsequently, together with uh, the uh, loss adjusters and representatives of the NFU. And uh, we agreed, having met Gary Newport, we agreed straight away that uh, we would be happy to uh, go forward on the project with Austin Newport. And it's a decision we've not regretted for one moment since the way they've handled the historic aspects of the, con of the uh, project has been utterly reassuring right from the word go. So Paul's uh, degree of uh, attention to detail, uh, we've had uh, the same uh, project uh, site manager here from the very beginning. You know, he has proved to be uh, absolutely fantastic, uh, liaised with us liaised with all the trades, liaised with the architect. A project like this is not just saying to somebody, right, there it is, there, there's your budget, there's your spec, go ahead and do it. Everything has to be sourced individually, labour, skills and so on. So that was the other big thing that, uh, that Austin Newport have handled well for us. Um, and we've got to the stage where we are now, almost, uh, almost there. And, uh, you know, uh, Austin Newport, as you can see in the background, still supervising the job. Uh, it was quite an, an enjoyable project, really, because uh, quite rewarding in the, in the sense that um, it changes very quickly. Um, 
So it's kind of visually very, very rewarding. You know, from week to week, uh, it's, it's getting better and better. And so in that sense, we really loved it. Austin Newport with their team of specialists um, have carefully monitored the, uh, the, the moisture levels, brought them down with specialist uh, techniques, uh, but you've got to really wait. Um, time is the key thing and the weather. So overall, we've brought the building to a point where the decorations have gone back and this is now on programme. Uh, and it's a great credit, I think, to Austin Newport and the whole uh, team involved that uh, it's actually been delivered on, on, on programme as, as programme last year. Here we are in June and we're just about to finish in two weeks. Uh, so I think the whole team are, are, are very proud of the project and we're pleased, very pleased with the quality of the work across the board.